Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Bridget Parker and I cover all things true crime. So if that's something you're interested in, please consider subscribing to the channel. Before we get into the video, I just want to say that I know I haven't been around for the last week. I've been pretty sick. Um, unfortunately, I do have several chronic illnesses and in the last month, um, my health has taken a real turn. So for the next little while, just please bear with me as I'm probably going to be a little erratic, but I really do appreciate the support um, on my channel. The world is currently captivated by Joe Exotic, um, the main personality, I suppose, in the Tiger King documentary on Netflix. I've been following him for several years. Um, and so last May, I did a video about him that I promptly had to take down because uh, someone I mentioned threatened to sue me. It wasn't Joe. I'm going to actually, I've put the videos back up as unlisted, so I'll leave the link in the description if you want to go and watch those. So Joe Exotic, uh, otherwise known as Joseph Schreibogel or Joseph Maldonado Passage, um, he is currently in prison. I really recommend you go and watch The Tiger King. Go and watch those videos I did as well because they're very, very interesting. There is so much to this story, but I've been following it for quite some time. But uh, I did start contacting Joe and we have been speaking for the last week. I've wanted to contact him for some time, but I wanted to wait until his sen sentencing was over um, in case he was moved. Um, so we have been in communication all week and all of a sudden communication has stopped. I noticed on my Thursday, which is American Wednesday, that he hadn't replied to my message and he was really great at replying to them quite quickly. Um, so I was a little concerned and I haven't heard from him since. I want to look at a little bit of information to see what the heck is going on, where is he, what's happened, because he was being so vocal on Facebook, um, on the jail messaging system, and all of a sudden he's gone silent. So where is he? So I'm over on Joe Exotic's Facebook page, Joseph A. Maldonado Passage, and he's very he was very, very active on his social media. There were a couple of posts every single day. Now, obviously, he's not doing these posts. Someone's posting for him. So let's have a little scroll. Uh, he talks a lot about being thankful that so many people have watched the Netflix documentary Tiger King, uh, which really has gripped everyone. So he's posting or someone's posting for him quite a lot. You can see that this is over the space of just a couple of days and you can go and have a look if you want at his Facebook uh, and follow him. But the last post from him is the 25th of March, which is the same day that he stopped contacting me on the jail mail messaging service. He just went completely quiet on there. So let's have a little look at what else I was able to discover. So I went back through our messages and went to message him again. And this is actually what came up um, as that happened. So it says, sorry, the person you are attempting to contact is currently inactive. Please choose another person to send a message to. So it says that um, Joseph Maldonado Passage from Brady County Jail is inactive. Now, if it was just the messages that were inactive, I'd think, well, maybe he was getting a, like a flood of messages. So he stopped communication. But the fact that his Facebook page hasn't been updated since the same day he stopped replying to my messages does actually make me question things a little. Did Joseph decide to end all communication with everyone? I highly doubt it because he was so passionate when he was writing to me about being happy that so many people were contacting him and wanting to find out about his case. He seemed in good spirits and that he wanted as many people as he could to get the word out about his case. He wants to uh, have 
President Trump pardon him. Did Joe get moved for his own protection? I don't know. There's a lot of attention on him at the moment, so maybe he became a target. Um, was he moved for other reasons? It's just really interesting that the week that everyone's learning about him that didn't know who he was, uh, his all of a sudden communication has ceased everywhere. Um, did he get sick? You know, we, I had spoken to him about being concerned because he does have a lot of health issues. Did he get sick? Is that why he's not talking? I don't know. I'm going to continue to do my respectful stalking and seeing what I can find out. If anyone finds anything out, please let me know in the comments or send me an email, missbridgetparker at gmail.com. I hope that he's okay. We were planning to do an interview together actually to bring you guys. So maybe hopefully in the future that can still happen so you can hear from this really interesting personality who has fascinated me for years and years. Uh, so I'm, I'm glad that everyone can see the Joe Exotic that I've been fascinated with for, for all of this time. I have sent off an email to see if I can find anything out um, so as soon as I know anything, if I get a response, I will keep you updated, but feel free to do some respectful stalking of your own and see if you can figure out where Joe Exotic is. Don't forget to go and watch those videos. It's a part one and two of the story of Joe Exotic um, and go and find out the reason that I was almost sued. Go and join our Facebook group, All Things True Crime, and you'll see the posts in there about what happened. I will talk about it in the future, just not in this video. Um, so go watch those videos. Please like this video as well. Share it out if you can and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. It really helps my channel to grow. I will see you guys very, very soon. I may stick to more edited videos for a little while, um, but I will be around, I promise. Please take care and bye for now.